Hey guys, it's Miley and today we're going to be filming a pizza mukbang. We're going to be eating Jet's pizza as you can tell. And it's my first time having Jet's pizza and we got this is our selection of pizza today. We got this cauliflower um, crust pizza with mushroom, bell pepper, and spinach. I think that's it. Then we got the Mexican pizza here, but they have olives, chorizo, which is pretty surprising. Never had a chorizo on a pizza before. They have um, jalapenos, tomatoes, and did I say olives? And olives. Oh, and they use cheddar cheese. And this one we got the Meats Lovers Pizza. We got ham, pepperoni, and sausage. And of course your classic mix of pizza cheese, parmesan. We got some parmesan cheese and some red crushed bell, crushed red pepper here and to swallow this pizza down I got kung fu tea my choice of honey oolong milk tea so I've never had a cauliflower crust before so let's try that very thin pizza feel like it's a little bit more dry I feel like I can taste all the burntness. But the veggies on the pizza is good. Tastes like a pretty much like a pizza. But apparently this pizza cost like 14 bucks, so. Nothing too crazy. Considering the price though, probably won't get it again. But for vegans and vegetarians, I'm pretty sure, well, I would say it's probably more of a vegetarian pizza because there's cheese on there, but I think it'd be a still pretty good option for a pizza. Because I don't know any other Like, like Pizza Hut and stuff like that if they do cauliflower crusts. I'm excited to try this Mexican pizza one. Looks tasty. Mmm. Kind of spicy. Pretty spicy. Ooh. It's a good, this is a pretty good solid pizza. I love the crust. It has like a unique flavor to it. Can't really explain it, but I like the aftertaste. It's pretty good. The reason why I knew about Jet's Pizza was because I saw an advertisement on like a newspaper and they were advertising this pizza, the Mexican pizza, and it looked pretty good. And it looks pretty much like the advertisement, so they didn't lie to you. Uh, I think I know why it was so spicy the first bite I had. I probably had a jalapeno. Because I'm eating, I'm continually eating, and it's not that spicy anymore. It's probably the jalapenos. But it was a nice touch. At first, I thought it was the, the, the tomato sauce. Smiley approves. I mean, this, this olive right here wasn't even sliced, it's a big old olive. 
tiny you did that. <laughs> olives, I probably only eat olives on pizza because they're not as bitter. But that one didn't look, that, 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 that kind of like shouted bitter. So I wasn't not gonna eat that. Okay, so let's try. The jalapenos are spicy. We're gonna try the <clears throat> the meat to lover sandwich. I mean pizza. We're gonna actually put some Parmesan cheese on there. I'll put some um, crushed or bed red pepper. Do you see how thick the pizza is? It's like so thick. But honestly, I never hear anyone talk about dread pizza. So are there are they not like really popular? I don't know, but it's good. I think I'd give, well, let, let's try this and I'll, I'll, I'll give a rating. Mm. The ham is good. I usually don't put ham on my pizza, but it's pretty good. Well, I can't really compare on the breading per se, because I feel like it's kind of like a pizza on its own, like a whole another category. But I feel like the execution's really good. Like it feels like they didn't really cheap you out on the toppings. They covered it pretty well. The cheese with the, I think they did go a little overboard on the, the tomato sauce, on my opinion. But I mean, considering that the breading is already thick, I feel like the sauce, I'm sure for some people will be fine. But I think it's an overall good pizza. I usually get Papa John's pizza since it's the closest one to my house. I feel like I would choose Jet's Pizza over Papa John's now if there is a Jet's Pizza nearby. I mean, I don't know. I think the large, so the large, pizza of the deep dish is $20 but I think considering how large it is I I think it, it would feed a family of five I think it's very possible especially because it's thicker so you probably won't eat as much I would say but yeah I think I mean considering that I think $20 seems very reasonable because for my family I think we usually buy like two large pizzas and it kind of lasts like for two days so not even just for one meal so and considering the toppings like they literally filled the pizza like it's a meat lovers you know like every bite has a meat under so i'd give this jets pizza a solid i'd give it an eight out of ten I actually prefer the Mexican pizza over the meat lovers, just because I do like some vegetables on my pizza. I think if I, if I were to get it again, I might replace the jalapenos with banana pepper if they have it, just because I feel like I can't handle spice that well anyways. So it's just a little bit too extreme for me. Let me know if you ever tried Jet's Pizza as well. And if you prefer Jet's Pizza over your um, favorite pizza place. The Italian sausage is really pretty good. Sausage, my, sausage, my favorite topping. I usually like to get sausage, spinach, and 
sausage and spinach. And I like to put um, bell peppers on there too. And I'm really missing out on some pickles right now. Usually when I eat pizza, I like to get like a side of pickles. And like take a bite of pizza and take a bite of a pickle. I don't know. A pickles crunch and their sweetness a little bit and sourness just adds really like it just adds so much to a pizza some people say that it's really weird to eat pizza and pickles together but i've been doing that since i was a kid so i'm getting full though i've only had three pizzas this is the one I'm talking about. You see all that sauce? The tomato sauce right there. They put a lot. You know, a deep dish kind of reminds me of when you go and order breadsticks. They just made a big square breadstick. And they made it into a pizza. I think that's pretty much what it is because I feel like the crust, now that I think about it, like the, 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 the bottom crust, the flavor tastes like a breadstick. If I could, I'd probably just like, like, I feel like the highlight of this dish is the bread. And I mean, that's a little fattening, but it's the truth, but it's good. I can't eat anymore. Hopefully you like this video of me eating pretty much only three pizzas, but I'm a small girl. Small girls can all eat so much. I'm sorry. So hopefully this video made you smile. And if you like videos like this, just let me know by giving this video a like, commenting down below and subscribing to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification button and I'll try to be posting every Monday. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.